Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadow to Born but Build for Theme Park News and welcome to a big video today because today we're going to be looking at Thought Park 2022. Now of course it's very easy to think, well hang on a minute, why are we predicting this particular year? However, I thought I'd take the time to just look at potential options because of course um, we know that 2021 is going to be opening of the delayed Black Mirror Labyrinth, which is the brand new uh, sensory attraction, shall we say, uh, the walkthrough experience, uh, walkthrough um, sort of sensory experience, replacing the Walking Dead Living Nightmare maze. Of course, that sits in uh, the same building where, of course, we used to have Cabin in the Woods and the Passing, etc. But now that's going to be a permanent attraction and it's going to utilize the old Slammer queue. So, we know the Black Mirror Labyrinth is coming next year, but what's going to come in 2022? Well, we're going to look at some potential options. We're going to talk about the long-term future as well and share my thoughts on the whole thing. So, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Make sure you uh, uh, get on the channel and watch all the old videos as well. Let's get the nostalgia, some binge watching going. Um, we're getting closer and closer to 1 million views and also 2,000 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer every single day, guys. So please, let's get there. We're primarily a theme park news channel, uh, but we do do some other stuff as well. Uh, <laughs> do do. Um, but yes, we're going to be looking at potential developments for 2022 at Thought Park in this particular video. 2021 is going to be a big year for the channel, not just Thought Path for Black Mirror Labyrinth. It's a big year for the channel, of course. Hopefully, if all goes to plan, new website, big trips, uh, paid memberships, monetization. It's all going down next year, hopefully. So, uh, stick with the channel because it will all be worth it, guys. And for now, let's have a look at some potential developments for 2022. So, before we take a look at 2022, I think the big question here is the next major roller coaster and the next major thing, shall we say. Uh, now, from what we've heard in recent times, there won't be a major coaster at the park for three to five years. And apparently, this was before the COVID pandemic, so it's likely delayed it even further. So, we sort of first heard about this around 2019, around about that mark. Uh, so, if you think about it, between 2022 and 2024 would be the year of the next major development. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has probably pushed that back to around 2024 to 2026. So I don't think we've got a, well, we've only got a couple of years now until hopefully we start work on the next major development at Thought Park. Uh, now, loads of people, including myself at times, do blame the failure of Darren Brown's ghost chain for no major investments earlier. And I think the big thing we have to think about with Thought Park is low capex years, as we call them, uh, or low investment years are probably going to be years of loads of just events. No real new attractions or ride hardware, just loads of new um, events. And just like a whole event schedule. So we're sort of being uh, realistic when looking at 2022. Now, you've got to look at the events they've done in the past couple of years. 2019, uh, they brought in Game FX, uh, Jungle Escape, Bouncezilla with the Bouncezilla Extreme with the added water guns. And, of course, the advertised Fright Nights as well. Um, this year, what would have been the events, you had things like the Supercharged Summer and, you know, these. it was like a sort of sci-fi, um, kind of futuristic-y look kind of thing. Uh, again, with the Infinity branding. Um, obviously, we know that Jungle Escape will probably come back next year, unless plans change. Um... But I think in terms of events, there's there's definitely a particular theme with them. Um, with the 2019 events, it felt quite like a, a things to do while you're out kind of theme. So gaming, uh, bouncy castle, uh, escape room, kind of like your everyday midway attraction. So that's what, that was kind of the theme for the 2019 events. It had more of a futuristic kind of theme to fit with the Black Mirror kind of stuff that we're going to do in 2020. But that was the sort of theme I got from the 2020 events, like the Supercharged Summer, etc., that they were going to do. So I think 2021, they're going to delay the 2020 events and bring them in in 2021. So there's things like the Supercharged Summer uh, and do them in, in, in a different way. 2022, now I reckon they're going to pay a lot of attention around Jungle Escape. And I reckon they're going to do some jungle-themed events. So... Let's have a look at potential options for what they could do. So starting off with the usual, and that is of course Jungle Escape. Now Jungle Escape is of course the escape room attraction located in the former I'm a Celebrity Maze attraction uh, at Thought Park. Now 
Obviously, this has been operating for a couple of years, um, but it should be interesting to see how long they keep Jungle Escape operating. You know, will it be um, for a long, long time? Will it be uh, for quite a long time? Or will it be just for a little bit longer? Uh, now, of course, Jungle Escape is a dark ride, and we know that dark rides at Thought Park haven't traditionally been open as much, uh, especially in the COVID era when Thorpe has been open this year. Uh, we know that Darren Brown's Ghost Train's been closed um, and turned into like an outside Oktoberfest event. Uh, now, Jungle Escape, I think, will stay open next year, and I think it'll stay open in 2022. Uh, now, if Jungle Escape does not open in 2022, I reckon they're going to transform it into something else, a different kind of jungle-themed attraction. Now, I don't think it should be paper-charged. I, I don't think it should be a charged attraction, but I've got a feeling it probably will be. Uh, so, I reckon if they're going to go away from the escape room kind of route, I reckon they could learn from Black Mirror Labyrinth and maybe do a different kind of sensory experience inside Jungle Escape. Now, of course, people can call that repeating, I wouldn't be happy with that decision personally, but I just think realistically that's what we're heading to uh, and heading towards. So I reckon Jungle Escape might get changed in 2022 or I think it will stay the same, but I think it will be a different kind of sensory experience or walkthrough experience theme to the jungle. Now looking in the rest of the area, the rest of the sort of jungle area, shall we say, I reckon they could do some stuff around Nemesis Inferno. I reckon they could do um, some stuff around there. Uh, obviously we know about... Uh, the stage area that they put on for Oktoberfest and there was like a stage area weren't there? there was like a kind of like an open stage area where they did perform in Oktoberfest and I think that was there for Fright Night's first, uh, festival as well so I reckon they'll use that again and do like a, a Rangers show and bring back the Rangers maybe uh, a bit of nostalgia there um, now, Darren Brown's Ghost Train, outside that, that's going to be a completely different story because I, I've i got a very interesting feeling that they're going to cut back on costs. And I reckon they're going to cut back. And I think that maybe, if things don't improve next year with Darren Brown, maybe 2022 is the year we say goodbye to the Ghost Train. Now, I'm being realistic about this. I'm not just saying this because I want it to close. It is a good dart on its day. When everything's working 100%, it's a very good dart ride. But I just don't see the point of it staying open. It was closed for the rest of 2020 due to the pandemic and indoor spaces. Uh, make of it what you will. But 2021, if it's going to open next year, but it's gonna, only going to operate half as good. If people start getting the bad reviews in again of Darren Brown in 2021, they've got no choice. They've got to cut back, ready to unleash loads of investment in the future post-COVID when we get the uh, sort of financial side back up again. And I think Darren Brown just doesn't belong at the park. I just don't think it is the, the, the project they said they were going to do. So when you look at it, I reckon, in the long term, I think Darren Brown's Ghost Train by itself should go anyway. If The Walking Dead The Ride um, license ship ends in a year or two, I reckon that will go as well. Uh, Storm Surge has been quite an eyesore for a number of years, so I reckon that could go in the future as well. Now, I think for now at least, for 2022, I reckon Darren Brown should be used as a front for... Um, some more jungle themed stuff so whether that be uh, some jungle stalls or some uh, or like a massive sort of game maybe use the shop uh, maybe take out if you're going to rip out Darren Brown I think you'd start with the shop first you rip everything out on the inside in the close season and keep it closed but no announcement no in Thorpe it'll be no announcement but I reckon you use the shop and you put something jungle themed in there whether it be um, some jungle type experiences. I mean, let's be honest, this is Thorpe, right? If Jungle Run came back to CITV, they'd probably put that in the Darren Browns building or the Jungle Escape building. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think they'll just do some like jungle stuff out front, maybe utilize the shop building as an option for uh, some kind of jungle games, etc. Um, 
Maybe they'll put some Donkey Kong stuff in there because it's jungle themed. I don't know. Um, bring Game FX back. <laughs> uh, no, I'm joking, of course. Um, but I think Darren Brown, like the outside or maybe just the shop itself, might be used for something jungle themed. But I think the events are just going to be jungle themed, you know. I think Jungle Escape will be open for a period between May and September. They'll do some jungle shows. Um, and they'll do some jungle themed offers. So it might be. Um, it might be a, a wild summer. You know, they like to do some names with these events. So, you look at the names they used in the past. Bountzilla, Game FX, uh, Jungle Escape. I think we're going to look at things like A Wild Summer. Um, or Fury, or The Furious Autumn. Or The Furious Spring. Um, just different things like that, you know. Now, in terms of other stuff around the rest of the park. I think Bountzilla could be used. I reckon that could be used as a site for... Uh, maybe give it a jungle paint up and do like a jungle themed bouncy castle uh, and bring the Thought Park Rangers into it. So maybe it's the Thought Park Rangers um, Extreme Jungle Bounce Challenge. Something cringy like that. But, uh, and you might not like these predictions, but I'm just thinking realistically. Um, so I reckon Bountzilla might get used. I reckon they'll use the beach. I reckon they'll put some nice jungle theming around there temporarily and they'll use the beach. Uh, for like a jungle themed water event um, So whether that be a splashing safari event, that'd be nice <laughs> Sorry Holly, Holly, holiday world <laughs> But yeah, I think they could do like a splashing safari weekend maybe in, in the summer um, So yeah, just thinking realistically here, but I think in the long term I think if and this is this links back to the next major development around the 2024 to 2026 mark I reckon Darren Brown Ghost Train Walking Dead The Ride and Storm Surge all ripped out for a brand new roller coaster. Now, I could be wrong. I could be right. Uh, I think the Mega Store could go as well, but I think they'll build a brand new Mega Store somewhere in the park. Um, so whether that be on the um, uh, the old uh, Bountzilla site, maybe they put a brand new Mega Store there, uh, or they put a new Mega Store sort of somewhere else in the park, like a massive building. But I reckon the old Mega Store, the current one, may go with Storm Surge, uh, Walking Dead the Ride, and Darren Brown's Ghost Train. So I reckon they can use that entire site, once they've got the finance in order, to transform into a brand new major roller coaster. And if they wanted to, I know there's a bit of a deal at the minute with Slammer, where they have to remove Rush to remove uh, Slammer. Um, I reckon they could keep Slammer, um, you know, up. And I reckon they could just circle the coast around it, if they could. Or maybe, um, if they managed to reach an agreement with SNS, I reckon they could remove Slammer, hopefully. And um, then you've got a bit more extra space to play with. Um, now, a lot, of, and I know a lot of fans of Thought Park are thinking, well, after the next major roller coaster, the next one might replace Colossus. Um, I reckon it could. I reckon Colossus could be on the chopping block in the future as well, but... It should be interesting. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking of other sites for the next major development. The Island Behind Swarm, Logger's Leap. I reckon that could be an availability. But, in my opinion, I think that Darren Brown's Ghost Train, Walking Dead the Ride, and Storm Surge, and the Mega Store will all get ripped out for a brand new roller coaster. That's just my honest opinion. And I think the jungle stuff, like the jungle themed events that I'm predicting for 2022, could be like a teaser for a jungle themed ride coming in between 2024 and in 2026 and that'll be the next major roller coaster so i think thor park will do some jungle themed events in 2022 i think that'll be the theme of it the jungle and i think this could be a teaser for the next major development but i reckon that darren brown may not exist for very much longer so there we go that's my realistic predictions for thor park 2022 some jungle themed events in and around the park in the jungle area in other areas of the park with the bouncilla being rethemed uh the beach getting some splash and safari weekends um but I reckon the jungle themed events could be a teaser maybe for a replacement in that jungle area and sort of slash dockyard area for Darren Brown's Ghost Train, Storm Surge, Walking Dead the Ride and the, and the, and the current mega store. They'll build a new mega store somewhere in the park. Uh, I reckon they could do some nice concept art for a massive new mega store uh, for Thought Park. And I reckon they could do a new mega store somewhere else in the park. Maybe um, they build it next to the Thorpe Shark Hotel, the Thorpe Shark Cabins, should we say it's called now. Um, but I reckon they'll build a brand new mega store somewhere else in the park, and I reckon the old one will get ripped out with the rest of the rides around it uh, for a brand new roller coaster. And I reckon this brand new roller coaster could dominate 
uh, next to Colossus. And I think this could be the, the final years of Colossus, maybe. Um, I don't think it'll be this decade Colossus gets removed. It'll be like the next decade or maybe even the decade after. Um, but it should be interesting. I think, like we, like I said at the beginning, I don't think we're looking at events, not ride hardware in, in low investment years, but more events. Uh, so like I said, 2022 could be jungle themed, like I'm predicting. Maybe 2023 could be themed to something else. Um, and it should be interesting to see what they're going to do, because I reckon that the low investment years are going to be harder to predict than the next major roller coaster, should we say, or any new attractions. So, of course, plans can change, things can change, um, and it should be interesting to see if it is going to stay like low investment years with events being the low investment years and no ride hardware at all. Um, if I was to predict any ride hardware, maybe a couple of family rides somewhere in and out of the park, but again, I wouldn't even predict that because I, I think it's very unlikely we'll see any ride hardware in low investment years. Uh, just to save money really and then when the financial situation hopefully improves over the next couple of years post covid then we'll start to see some more major additions come to parks in the uk uh, on a regular basis so it should be interesting so thank you very much guys for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe and for now my name is coach shell keep living the coast life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a thrill day